Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. We now got part nine of Panini Collections and Tentoria's Build the Ferrari F40 Competizione. Now in the last few issues we've been working on the seats and the engine but in this one we're going to start working on the dashboard so let me show you what we've got to do here's the magazine and once again i normally just go straight to the middle because they've got some brilliant posters here if you're a big fan of the supercars you want to put these on the wall you can always take these out and stick them to your wall uh, absolutely brilliant but all we're doing in this one not a lot actually we've got some sections there for the dashboard including the hood uh the uh instrument panel and obviously those two are going to go together and then we're going to put put in the lower part of the dashboard together as well so then that will complete that section uh, in the next couple of issues and i have got them i have got up to issue 12 at the moment we're going to do a few more details there for the dashboard uh, including the fuse box and then we've got the engine components in issue 11. so not a lot to do but uh, we've got that coming this week probably a few of those actually uh, i am expecting the bismarcks they were posted out on the 17th of uh, april so they should be here any day now uh, and i'm also expecting a spitfire this week i'm expecting issue nine of that either today or tomorrow so uh, that should be here no problems at all uh, thank you all for the support watching the uh, welcome to the cave that was absolutely brilliant at the moment i've had about seven submissions at the moment so so uh, coming up, we're going to see the man caves and the uh, workstations and hobby rooms of Spruverse, of Svee, of John Hay, um, of... Uh, oh, there's, there's loads. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get that, hopefully another one at the weekend for that. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, one of the things I really like about this build is the uh, all the parts coming in their own plastic bag here, which is excellent. But that is the dashboard and i'm telling you straight away now it doesn't do any justice just looking at it but it's got a sort of felt it's, it is actually like it's I, I don't know what it is it feels really weird it's like a felt sort of uh texture to it which feels absolutely brilliant <laughs> now the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the instrument panel just into this section here now the instrument panel once again does come in its own little bag there so we'll get that open the, the, the best way I can describe the feel of this is the seats. When we did the seats, it just feels like the same material, which uh, in one one guess is actually really, really, really good. The uh, the other, though, is I can see it staining bad, and it can be probably marked easy as well, so I'm going to be very careful with this. Uh, all we're going to do is we're just going to be putting this section here, and we're just going to slot it into the gap there. Now, to hold that in place, we're going to need to put the hood on, and the hood, once again, comes in its own bag. So we'll get this out. Now we do have screws to put this down with. The screws that come in this uh, issue are screws D, looking like that. Uh, but once again, I want to show you the hood. And once again, the hood here is the same material. That is just, I could fill this all day. <laughs> okay, so the hood, we've actually got the indent on this side here, as you can see. And that's just going to go over here, holding that instrument panel in place. Just like that. And then we're going to need to secure this in with those screws just underneath here. It takes two of them. And if you have a look closely, we've got two holes just there. We've got another one just behind this long rod there. So we'll get them in there. So here's the first one. Just going in here like this. Nice and tight. Excellent. And then we'll put the second one in the other side. Definitely make sure you've got clean hands when you're... Uh, handling this that's for sure i've never ever felt anything like this it is such a weird feeling material <laughs> but it does the job and i'm guessing on the real car it's probably going to have this sort of texture as well but there we go that's what that's looking like with the instrument panel in secured from the underside there now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the underside of that dashboard in looking just like that and holding it this way as you can see we've got two holes there and there they're going to go over to the lugs on this side here and here so when we put this in it's going to go this way around and it's just going to fit over the top like that and then once again this is going to be held in with two of those d screws so i'll put the first one in this side but i'm only going to put it in lightly just hold it in place then I'll put one in the other side and then we'll screw this down. Make it nice and tight. So how's everyone getting on in this lockdown at the moment? 
all the uh, all the graphs are pointing down, so I'm hoping that means that uh, things are actually on the improvement side of it, and will be released from lockdown soon. I'm just making this sure this is in really tight, because I obviously don't want this moving around, because this is one of those things that once it's in, you're never going to get to it. But there you go. That is what the dashboard's looking like at the moment. That's what it looks like for that side. There's the uh, back area there. And that's what it looks like from underneath. And I have to point out, just look at the detail around these areas here. The actual parts have been manufactured brilliant. This is such a really detailed, but not just detailed, but very good quality build. And I'm so glad that I decided to take this up, but that's looking just like that there. And that's all there is to do in this issue. So uh, I enjoyed that, but uh, we're gonna be adding some more details to that in the next issue. Now tonight, I'm gonna be doing a live stream on the victory back there. We're gonna start planking it. And this will be a first for me. So the first time I'm ever planking a full size wooden model will be live on camera. So if you wanna tune in tonight and watch me fail at that miserably, or I might succeed, we'll see. <laughs> then just tune in at eight o'clock British Standard Time. And I will put details on the social media of the link to that. Uh, and you will get a notification as well when I do go live on that. But anyway, if you liked that video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.